Hey guys! So if you just watched my video, you you will not just watch this. They're not going to be back to back. But anyways, I literally push stop and restarts. I just did an all Christmas Dollar Tree Christmas one. And I am finishing up my Christmas stuff right now. I have been hauling it for a long time, but I decided to wait till October to show you guys just because yeah, some people leave extremely mean comments and I thought, why give them any more of a reason? So, excuse me, as I stated in the last of my previous Christmas haul, I just wanted to tell you guys, so there's a million people you can watch on YouTube. So my plan is not what, so again, like you see me hauling something and you see somebody else hauling it and then you see like 10 people are hauling the same thing. Like, why do we want to watch everyone's videos? But so my plan is now to try to tell you why I bought it and to give you some DIY ideas that maybe you've already heard of, maybe you haven't, maybe you can kind of implement something else in there. So I just wanted to, that's what I want to start doing is telling you why I bought it and not just be like, hey, I got this. And you're going to be like, for what? What are you going to do? Like, I've seen that a hundred times. So anyways, guys, the other one was 40 minutes long and it was all Christmas. So we're just going to get started. All right. So I found, look at these guys, the gnomes. I'm not a big gnome fan, but because I have so much gnome stuff this year, I do plan on keeping some of it and doing like a little gnome village. So here is the little girl and here's the boy. And I might do them in a giveaway. I don't know. But if not, because I'm not big on painting, can't paint very good. But anyways, I got the girl and the guy and they're big. They don't say how big, but they're big. This is my head and I got a big head. So I got those two. Phew. I got these. I don't know why. So they're just 104 tags. I was just excited to see Christmas stuff. I got it a while ago. But I mean, you can use them for anything. Yeah, I'll probably give them to my boys uh, or my husband. Or I don't know. I just like, yay, Christmas. And like I said, I got these like two months ago. So anyways, but I just want to point out like some of these can be fussy cut it out. How beautiful is that one? Like that's beautiful. The Santa. So you don't have to use them for that. It's a sticker just cut off the to and from. You don't even have to fussy cut this, like just cut right there. And then you have this beautiful Christmas tree and you can put it on your own little card or something. So 104, 5.8 inch by 10.7 inches by Christmas house, 104 stickers, Christmas stickers. Yes, because you don't get that many Christmas stickers that are this size in a regular thing. So anyways, that's an idea. Woo! I did pick this up. This is the Christmas house garlands and it has the little silver pine cones. I know there was more colors, gold. I can't remember what else because this was like over a month ago also, but I plan on putting these up. Like, um, I have a lot of like birthday hats that I just, I don't know why in my party supply, we're never going to wear them. I can never get my kids to wear them. So I plan on making them into a bunch of Christmas trees this year. I'm like, why not? They come in like packages of 20 or something, too many. So I am going to probably put some felt around one of those and then just kind of put this around with possibly some lights or just this. So that's what I plan on doing. And it doesn't say how long, but yeah. So I'm addicted to nutcrackers. I don't know if you all saw my Christmas videos last year. I will buy any nutcracker there is. I don't care if it's 10,000, no. Okay, I'm not spending 10,000, but I mean like, I don't care if it's just a dollar. I don't care if it's 25 cents, you know. Um, I just like nutcrackers. They don't have to be expensive and like collector's items. So I got this one and let's see, even my dogs are like, mom, we're done. So. Oh, again, let me tell you, I'm reaching down into here because I have this huge, huge bin. So I did pick up these bells, six pieces, the green, the silver, and the red. And I think my plan, I'm not sure, is to like put one of each together and just kind of loop them together. I don't know right now, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I know I said I was gonna give you DIYs, but I just got them, I thought they were pretty, I don't know. So I just got those. Stay there. Okay. So if you watched my last 40 minute Christmas haul video, I got the elf and the snowman. So of course I had to get Santa. So this is just like the linked Santa. Again, I probably would put some like black felt right here with like some of like the like glitter, not glitter, like the embellishments, like the, I don't know the diamonds or whatever from Dollar Tree around right there. And yeah, like just make them maybe put like whites 
right cotton balls or something for his beard and his mustache and over right here i don't know but just to make him a little bit more ooh, in your face okay Whew. all right you guys are gonna be like amy i thought you didn't like gnomes well let me i'm just gonna try to gather most of the gnomes because there's a lot of people okay let me try to this isn't even all of them but i can't grab them all right now so i did pick up this one it says merry christmas and it's just the gnome with the buffalo check stuff on the top it's very cute so i plan on using furniture marker around the edges probably putting like its own bow on here and then maybe putting like a real a poinsettia or something there just to make it a little bit more again if you see my videos i'm not big i'm just hanging everywhere so if i do keep this i will put like a jenga block or something back here so that it's more of a shelf sitter because i'm more of a shelf sitting person than to be hanging stuff all around my house so i will make this into a shelf sitter and we have a lot of area like at the top of our ceiling you know where it has the space up there i got to fill that and these are big so that if they are shelf sitters like you'll be able to see them up there so i got that one for that and then again, here is the welcome. And so one of them you can see as soon as you come in my house. So this is definitely going up there as a shelf sitter. Again, I will put some like furniture marker around the edges. I'll probably put like one of the 3D snowflakes they have here. Do something else just so it looks a little bit, you know, more. There is glitter on this. So I'll have to spray it with something. But anyways, yeah, so that is going to be a shelf sitter. Like I said, just a Jenga block, anything anything back there. I did pick up this guy ornament. So he says he's an ornament. Let me tell you what my plan is. This is my plan. I'm going to cut this off again. I am not, I am more of like a shelf person than a hanging person. So I plan on cutting this off. Right. And then I plan on cutting just a little hole right here. And I'm going to add in, let me just show you this. I bought the inwash aroma booster and these are 17.5 ounces. And this is my Christmas stuff for a reason. Oh, first of all, it smells amazing. But anyways, I'm going to use those because they're an air freshener also. I'm going to cut the bottom of him. I'm going to dump quite a bit in here. And then I'm just going to not sew because I can't sew to save my life. Just hot glue it back. And then it's going to have like its butt will be so, if I fill it up to like right here, it will be able to now sit on a shelf. So that is my plan for this. And like I said, it's also a root air freshener. And this can now be on a shelf, on a three-tier tray, whatever. And again, it's more of a substantial piece because it will stay up by itself. So there's that one. Same thing with this little guy. He is supposed to be an ornament. He's very cute, but I plan on doing the same thing, cutting him. And there is foam and stuff in there. If there's not enough room, just take some of that out. And then you can dump this in there. Again, air freshener. And then... Yeah, you, I'm just going to, yeah, put him, I'm trying to see what's going on with his little nose. Anyway, so he will also be like a shelf sitter or like a three-tier tray guy. Just cut this off and it's literally, like it won't even make a hold. You won't even notice it. So that's what I'm going to do with that one. This one, I'm not sure if it doesn't stand, I'll do the same thing too. Or I possibly might put him on like an actual like, just get like some wood or something and make like a little ski slope and then I'll just hot glue him to the wood on the ski slope and then like you just have like okay so I'll hot glue down here and then you probably will have to hot glue his foot to him so that he doesn't fall backwards because you see like he's looking like he don't know how to ski so if you hot glue like his body right here just a little tad to these he'll sit forward so that when he's up on the thing like he won't fall backwards and I'm just going to cut this off of him so yeah like I said I plan on just like getting making a little ski slope or something and then putting him on there so there's that guy and then here is another little fella I'm going to kind of do the same with him but let me tell you guys what I'm going to do with him so I Cutting the tag off, right? Bet you already guessed that. I plan on just cutting right there where you can't even see it on his little legs. And so I'm going to fill his little legs because they're two-sided, but they're hollow. Like there's nothing in the middle with some stuffing so that they're like a little bit more substantial. And then again, I'm going to add some of this to his butts. And then this one may not stand so well. I don't know. But if he doesn't, then 
like I did on my last shelf sitter, the things from the Dollar Tree, like, well, first of all, any, these are for my last haul, but I have these stakes that I'm going to take out of these because I'm going to do something else with them. I can put like a Jenga block under his butt and put this stake back here and he'll stay sitting up. So anyways, I plan, yeah, so I plan on stuffing his little legs and then making him sit again. So that's my plan with him. I know I have more. Oh, yay. Hold on. Okay, so I could not find this anywhere. I found the red one, and I'm going to have to fix his little hat, but I don't care. I could not find them. So I plan on just putting him somewhere, again, probably up on the, the shelf up there with the other little gnomes. I'm probably going to put all my gnomes up there because, again, I have, like, certain ideas for different rooms, and I don't want stuff to spread out. Like, there needs to be a theme in each room. Here is the green one. Again, fixing his hat. Yes. So there's that one. Okay, I have another one. Here's another guy for my, oh. here is another guy for my little slope that I'm going to have. Again, you guys, like, I'm trying to find, like, those pieces of wood from the Dollar Tree. I mean, any piece of wood you can get. Okay, we're just going to act like this is a piece of wood since I don't have one right here. And so, like, this one, so you can put it up, like, I'm going to put it up above my like in the area between my ceiling and a shelf. Anyways, so, and then I'm just going to get some of that webbing, the spider web from the Dollar Tree. I mean, one bag will last you forever, but I'm gonna put it on here and then I'm just gonna put the little guys right here so it looks like they're both skiing. So yeah, that's my plan with these little fellas. They're gonna be little skiers. And again, just add that little dab of glue, dab of glue, so that he sits forward so that like right now it looks silly, but once he's up on a thing, he won't just fall backwards. So that's my plan. Okay, I'm just trying to see if I have any more gnomes, guys. One second. I don't think I do. Think, oh, one more. <laughs> oh no, I got more. Okay, I found the blue one and he doesn't, oh, he does have a chip right there. A little itty bitty one anyways so there is the blue one so I got the blue red and the green so I will put those up on that shelf also Woo! okay I have some more hold on okay so Merry Christmas from our gnome to yours I have to say I did like this one I thought it was so cute so again I will just embellish it a little bit probably put like a 3d snowflake there and I do like this but I don't know if you'll be able to see it, I think you might be able to. I was trying to see if you'd be able to see it from afar. So anyways, this is going to go up on my gnome shelf that I have up there. And this says gnome for the holidays. I'm not a big gnome fan, but I love fun puns. So these are definitely going to stay with me. Furniture polish, probably around the edges. Maybe like a big, huge bow right here that I will buy because I cannot make one. And yeah, they will just sit up there. They'll be shelf sitters again. So what am I going to do? I'm going to put some a piece of wood back here so that they just sit on the shelf and look beautiful. That's all I want them to do is to look beautiful. Okay, stay there. Okay, sorry I keep reaching down, guys, but you know, we do what we got to do. Okay, so here is four pieces of these ornaments. So cute. They're little Santas. There's two with white hats and two with red hats. And again, my other ones that I've said, so you can totally, first of all, if you have a Cricut, you can write their name like sideways back here so they know who it's to. Put it on like a gift, put it on a wine bottle. I know I keep saying a wine bottle, Captain Morgan bottle. If you ask Amy from Bella's Bargains, vodka, no, she doesn't drink vodka, but I could put this around a Captain Morgan bottle for her and she would love it. So put their name back here if you have a Cricut, whatever. Write it back there if you have pretty handwriting. But yeah, so that's kind of what I got those for. It's just like for name tags, just to be fun. And then, yes, I got like five of these. But for what? Because my Candyland theme. Again, I have two big areas that are like from the ceiling to the shelf that I have to fill. So I'll just do these all different colors. Again, I will just use like some sort of like caulking or something with some glitter, 3D, all this stuff. So that's my plan there. And then I think I'm going to use the Dollar Tree like clay and you just have to make little itty bitty balls and they'll just all go up there. So that's my plan. Okay, so now I'm like, how, why are these in the thing? But anyways, I got more of these, which are just the breadboards. I think they're so cute. So I think I've hauled these before. I plan on doing 
some kind of decoupage on them and probably having my husband put a hole through right there so I can put a piece of twine or something. I did pick this up because I thought it was just cute. It's five by seven, but I love that the side is like, I was going to say embossed, but anyways, it's like cut out already for you. So I can buy a piece of wood from Home Depot or something, but I cannot do that. So yep, I plan on doing that and just putting some fabric or something on there. Whew, hold on guys. I think we're almost done. I'm sure you guys are excited. Okay. So yes, my elf area. I found this little guy. And again, I am not big on like spending a lot of money for decorations. Like they get broke, they whatever. This says joy and it's for my elf area that I'm going to be putting up. I think I said it in my last video, not this one. My favorite Christmas movie is Elf and my favorite Christmas song is The Christmas Shoes. So my kids know that it's always been forever. So anyways, I plan on putting, making a little elf area this year now that we have a little bit bigger of a house. I bought these again. I bought these last time, but what did I buy these for? I'm going to make little gnomes out of them, I think. So I saw this thing. When you don't sleep, guys, you are really learning some stuff. I don't know. Like I saw this thing where you cut it, you cut it in a certain way. Anyways, I'll show you guys when I do it, but this will make one gnome and one gnome. So I'm going to try it out because I have nothing better to do. Right? So I got those. Ah, look at these. Aren't they beautiful? So there's something wrong with this one. I'll fix it, but they are the ombre. There's a pink and the blue. Look at that blue. I mean, that is gorgeous blue. The pink is pretty too. I must've gotten two of these because this was definitely in my house. That is beautiful though. They're like, and they're flocked. Oh, they're just beautiful. So pretty. So the pink and the blue. Whew. Okay. Oh, so there was a white one. Here is the garland again for another Christmas tree. This is white with like sparkles. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. So I have that. Actually, we might be close to the end because a lot of that is duplicates. Coming back up, guys. I'm so sorry. There was no way I was going to get this all on my table. I did pick up. I don't think I got this one already. These are the six white Christmas trees. And again, if you have seen any of my other hauls, I plan on using these on like the little trucks. Where did my little truck go? Oh, I plan on use, I'm not gonna use that exact one, but I plan on like some twine. You can put it over the top right here. I did get this from the Dollar Tree. And I mean, you could write the kid's name right here and then he has a truck to play with after Christmas or you could just use it for decor. So I got that. I got these just for different colors. That one is a silver that's gorgeous, like all sparkly. And this one is the white sparkly. And then if you watch my 40 minute video, you'll see that I also got these planters to kind of put this on the back and to twine them around. Just so I have a lot of Christmas trees around my house because Christmas is my time. Let me see when this says it even. So I found one of my receipts, 915. And that's not even the beginning of them. That's how long I've had these and I've been, you're welcome for saving them. This is just an ornament. Amy, why did you get it? I don't know. Again, it was just something I grabbed. So this is just one of the big ornaments. No idea. Gotta be honest. Anyways, let me see. Hold on, guys, please. Okay. Woo. Okay. Oh, I knew I had gotten these. Oh, no, the top of my church came off. Apparently, I really liked these, though, because if you look in my last haul, I got these again. Anyways, they are... Ooh, okay. They are the houses... And again, my kid, my son and I, my oldest son and I do the Christmas village every year. And these ones you can put the tea lights in the bottom of. So I love them. Antique shop, church. I showed them in my last one, but apparently I loved them. So I got two. <sighs> oh my gosh, you guys, I think. And then this is last thing. I think. Let me just make sure I forgot to look back here earlier. No, I didn't. That's it. Thank you. Goodness, goodness. Okay. This was another one of the vine balls I got from the floral garden. I plan on painting these some color and maybe adding some glitter and then putting like a piece of twine or something through one of these little holes and making them into little Christmas ornaments. So that's my plan. You could also make them into little snowballs. Totally could make them into little snowballs. They're small enough. So guys, I cannot tell you how happy I am to have this Christmas thing done. Like I have had this bin sitting under me. That's an hour long guys. I did a 40 minute already and now I'm 20 minutes in insane. So 
I'm done. Thank goodness. That is it for me, guys. I hope that you are all having an amazing day. Whew. I'm sure I don't need to buy Christmas again for the rest of my life. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.